We are gathered before his presence to pay our last respect to our beloved sister, a great compatriot, a distinguished senator, a faithful wife, a fantastic mother, kind in consideration, good at heart, beautiful in look, in courage, in conduct, and in attitude. A woman of rare intelligence, rare courage, very stable, detests violence. A true woman of God, who through her career have shown that you need to put God first. May I quickly recount the words from the homily. As we are all gathered here today, the question is for you. Senator Rose is gone, but you are here. What legacy, what will you be known for? We have heard what she's known for. It's your time and turn. It's time to turn to God. I am happy today that the entire Senate is here because the Senate President is ably represented by my colleagues, Senator Abaribe and other distinguished senators of Crossbar Extraction and others. Please, Africans value the living and the reverend the dead. May it be part of our consideration that we should put an end to a by-election before the interment of an honorable member or a distinguished member. It is not African, it is not Afrocentric, it is not Afropolitan to start struggling for a seat of somebody who is still waiting to be committed to Mother Earth. It does not agree with my spirit, it does not agree with my soul, and I find a deep sense of guilt in the way politics is rapidly taking over our ethics. May it be part of the consideration as they constitute the Constitution Review Committee to work with INEC towards looking at a way we can pay our last respect before a program for a by-election is put in place. May I extend my condolence to the family of the deceased. May I extend my condolences to the entire people of the Northern Senatorial District who will be missing the intelligence, the brilliance, the beauty, the smile, the poise, the elegance that Senator Rosoko brings to the Senate. Let us pray that in the fullness of time, when your own day will come, let there be a crowd of this size and number to celebrate you because Senator Rose Oko was a good woman. Sincerely good at heart, very patient and very peaceful. And that's why she has a fantastic family. May her perfect soul rest in peace. Thank you and God bless.